video lectures we go to the geometric design of highway first geometric design of highway means it deals with visible dimension of road such as radius of curve then side distance and the width of pavement etc in this now camber camber is camber is a cross slope cross slope provided to the pavement surface forming a crown at the center of road and the slope is called camber the main governing factors of cambers are the types of pavement surface whether it is the pavement surface whether it is concrete pavement bituminous pavement gravel or earthen and the second factors governing the pavement uh, pavement cambers is the amount of rainfall intensity the main objectives the main objective of cambers is to drain out surface water that is a rain water to laterally drain out the rain water and second second one is to prevent infiltration of water into the underlying pavement layers and subgrade soil to separate the traffic in opposite directions and third one to improve the appearance of of the road as per nepal road standard 2070 the camber value for a different pavement surface is recommended as follows whereas the for cement concrete pavement the camber slope is provided to 1.5 to 2% for bituminous pavement 2.5 gravel road 4% and earthen road 5% if we provide if we provide camber slope high cross slope what will be the its effect then the first effect is the transverse tilt of the vehicles causes uncomfortable side thrust and drag on the steering of the automobiles also the thrust on the wheel along the pavement edges is more causing unequal wear of tire as well as road surface ground surface makes overtaking overtake overtaking operations more dangerous for high speed vehicle problem of overtopping over of highly loaded trucks formation of cross cut cross roads due to the rapid flow of water this is the when rain water uh, during the rain water during rainy seasons if the camber slope is too steep then the water laterally uh, uh, laterally goes out to the long channel drain with higher speed the higher speed of the water forms the cross road on the pavement surface the tendency of more of the vehicle to travel along the center line causing excessive worn at center part and types of camber there are three types of camber first one is straight line camber here the pavement surface is straight and the slope is n positive that is the straight line camber generally straight line camber is adapted for very flat slope with cement concrete pavement and then from figures tan theta that, that is we have the tan theta equals perpendicular base base that is perpendicular is riser r and base is w by 2 where w is the width of total width of pavement and similarly also tan theta with tan theta equals to y by x by equating equation 1 and 2 we get y equals to nx where y is the vertical drop from the ground of the pavement with respect to partial distance from the ground surface that is x that is a vertical drop for the straight line camber we use y equal to nx camber is parabolic camber where the pavement surface is given to the pavement surface is given to the simple quadratic parabola this is designed for fast moving vehicle in the parabolic cam camber ordinate y varies as the square of the abscissa that is y by x square equals to y where y y equal to riser and x is the w by 2 square by solving these equations we get the final formula y equals to twice n x square by w where y is the vertical drop from the crown of the pavement at a partial distance of x this is the 
this formula y equals to nx square by w is for parabolic camber and the third types of camber is composite camber composite camber it may be combination of partly straight line of different camber slope and second is of different slope that is a two straight line camber here the center part is the camber of straight line with different slope and the outer edge of pavement is camber with different slope and other composite camber may be the partly parabolic at the center and the straight line at the edge of the pavement this is the third types of composite camber are used for the slow moving vehicle that is the cam uh, composite camber is used for straight line uh, slow moving vehicle and the finally the types of camera are given in figure that is the shown in figure example the width of the pavement is 7 meter if the center line of the road has an elevation of 412.23 meter and the camber slope of camber slope of 2.5 percent is find the elevation of road at the edge of the pavement and at the center of lane if straight line camber is provided or b parabolic camber is provided this is a straight line camber where the center of road that is the crown has the elevation of 412.23 and the w is the total width of pavement that is given 7 meters then for straight line camber for the edge of pavement that is edge of point pavement that is uh, 0.2 is generated on the figures for edge of pavement x that is the x from the crown distance is equals to w by 2 where w is the width of pavement that is 7 meter that is x equal to w by 2 equals to 3.5 meter then using the formula particle drop at a distance of x equal to 3.5 y equals to 0 0.0875 meter therefore the elevation at the edge of the pavement is given as calculated as 0.12.14 meters and second for center of lane that is the point 1 at the figure zone is the center of lane that is the x equals to w by 4 from the center of center of road that is the crown of the pavement that is the this distance is the w by 4 that is the 7 of 4 equals 1.75 meters by using then by using equation y equal to nx we can calculate the drop at a partial distance x equal to 1.75 meters and calculate it at 0 0.04357 meter therefore elevation of the center of lane equals is calculated as 0.12.186 meter then for parabolic camber this is the parabolic camber and for a parabolic camber the for edge of the pavement that is 0.2 is noted on the figures the partial distance x from x is from crown of the pavement is w by 2 that is the same by 2 equals to 3.5 meters then using the formula y equals to twice n x square divided w is the particle drop from the crown at a partial distance x that is w by 2 is calculated as 0 0.0875 therefore the elevation of the edge of the pavement is calculated calculated as 4 point uh, sorry 412.14 meters and similarly for the center of lane that is 0.1 as shown in figure that is the partial distance of w by 4 from the crown surface that is the x equals to w by 4 equals to 7 by 4 equals to 1.75 meter then using equations y equals to twice nx square by w we calculated the particle drop from the crown surface as 0 0.0218 meter therefore elevation as the center of lane equals is calculated as 412.208 now please if you like this video please like this video share and subscribe on my channel for further more lectures on geometric design thank you